Okay, I have a question for you. So we've done a few tool review videos on this DeWalt power cleaner that you've seen. And the question now is, this DeWalt power cleaner will put out 500 PSI of water pressure out the tip. So my question is, is I picked up this new Trinova soap cannon that I've been using with my 1600 PSI Ryobi power washer there. And I wanna know, will this work on the DeWalt here? It will fit, we know it'll fit on here. But will it work? Will it deliver that thick shaving cream, thick snow foam of soap on a car that we're expecting to see with the higher PSIs? Now, this one has a rating of 800 PSI all the way up to 3,500, which means you really shouldn't be expected to get much out of it if you use below 800 PSI. So I want to quantify that today. I want to hook that up here to the DeWalt power cleaner. I want to see how well a job it does, or maybe it doesn't do anything at all. Now we have already seen how good the DeWalt power cleaner works here with this soap gun. And remember, this is a soap gun, not a soap cannon. Okay, so I'm going to mix up the soap here and I've got 20 ounces of hot water. I'm going to mix this five to one. This is 20 ounces to four ounces of the soap. By the way, this Adam's Mega soap is pretty cool. It smells like bubble gum. It's got a bubble gum scent to it. You can see the steam coming up here the hot water so one thing I like about this base the one thing I like about this particular Trinova soap cannon is that it's really wide at the base so it's not going to topple over like your skinnier ones will and this big thick neck here you don't need a, to use a funnel you just dump your chemicals in straight in very easily the top on here and you give it some good vigorous shaking mix it up real good and we are ready to go okay so we have a full battery going in and let's check the battery bars on it Okay, so here we are. Let's give it a shot, see how it does. Uh, it, yeah, it's coming out kind of thick, but let's adjust the stream a little. Let me see if I can go like that and make it a little wider. Uh, see, that's wide too. Let me see, I thought if we had it all the way down like this, that it would do it. There we go. Yeah, so. It looks like it does come out reasonably thick. This is not the shaving cream snow foam that we normally see uh, when we're doing it with the big washers, but this still looks pretty decent. I think it's better than using what we showed you before when we did our previous testing here on the power cleaner, when we used some of the other bottles. Um, and keep in mind, you know, you're using this at a much lower PSI than they recommend. This thing is supposed to have 800 PSI minimum, but man, look at, it's clinging, whereas the other soap, if you remember in the other test, it was just running down the car, see? So this is doing pretty good. It's actually very good compared to the other ones. I really like this. So yeah, in a pinch, you can put a soap cannon on your DeWalt power cleaner. Yes sirree, folks. You have my seal of approval on that. Let's try the windshield, see how it looks. Yeah. See, look at that, it really goes on thick. Okay, okay now watch this initial shot right here. See, you notice how even though it's not as thick as the shaving cream snow foam type that we normally see, it's clinging, which is nice, see? It's holding, folks. Okay, okay see, now look at all this here. This has been on here for about three or four minutes. So it's got some really good hang time going right here. That's only been on maybe two minutes at the most so far. So this I think would be really good for what we call our safety pre-wash. And what that is, is you spray the, your car down with water, you rinse it off first with water. Then you come by with your snow foam, which, and, and, and you, you get that nice thick layer of snow foam going across the car. Let it dwell for a few minutes. 
and that will loosen all the dirt and the big chunks of whatever, the dust and dirt and all that stuff, and it'll help start let it drip down off the bottom of the car. And you come by with your high pressure hose and you rinse all that off, then you can safely do your full contact wash with the mitts. And as you know, on our other channel, on our carbuyingtips.com channel, we show you tricks and all that stuff about you know, how to wash with the two bucket method and all that stuff. Okay, now we're just going to rinse it off. And um, so I call this my lazy man's car wash because it's a great way to just load your car up with soap real quick and give it a quick power rinse off of there and just get all the main dirt. Maybe you had some sprinkler spots overnight or something or you, you had a lot of dust collected up on the car. Great way to give yourself a quick maintenance wash. Okay, so now we're going to try it with the Ryobi pressure washer here. This one has 1600 PSI and 1.2 gallons per minute. And so it works fine with that. And we're going to show you on this side of the car and then we'll switch hoses and everything and set it up and show you the DeWalt power cleaner next to it to give you an idea. Now, I don't know how well I can control the spray. It's very windy today. I'm gonna to try to keep it to this side, but let's give it a shot. So there you are. God, I can smell that bubble gum. This stuff has a bubble gum scent to it. All right, so now we're going to very quickly switch over to the DeWalt. Okay, we're back now. It took us about two minutes to do all the changeover with the hose and everything, but you can still see the great thick lather that's on here, and it's still got that hang time. It's holding up there nice. So here's the DeWalt next to it. So there it is, folks. That's what it looks like with the DeWalt. So here it is. The DeWalt is nice and lathery too, see? And it's, it's got a little bit more flow, I think, than the, than the Ryobi, but it's a pretty close contest. So here you're looking at about four minutes so far here and about two minutes over here right now. And yeah, both did really well. And you can still smell that bubble gum aroma coming off of the soap. That's pretty cool. So in terms of, of which one is doing better, man, I gotta tell you, they both look fairly good. Although I will tell you that because of the higher pressure of the Ryobi 1600 PSI pressure washer, this puts on a little bit thicker coat when you're first doing it. When you're first laying it on the car, it really clings on there. And we're still working on um, tweaks and stuff that we can do to make this put out even thicker foam. So one of the tweaks we already did to this was we ordered a 1.1 millimeter um, orifice. It comes with a 1.2. And so we got rid of that one and made it 1.1, you know, and that helped out a little bit. It shoots more pressure out that nozzle there. And yeah, both of these are still doing pretty good here at close to five minutes. Really hanging on there. And that's what makes it such a great way to loosen all of that dirt that you've got there because it sits there and dwells on the paint lifts all the dirt and now you just hose it off just look at the back here on the trunk there was a lot of dust and pollen this week so let's see how well this cleans up. Okay, so now we're going to finish off the back with the Ryobi, that nice thick shaving cream-like foam. So there you have it, folks, and we proved that, yes, indeed, you can use a soap cannon with your DeWalt power cleaner. I was surprised. I didn't think that it would fit the bill. So if you're finding this video useful so far, hey, would you do us a favor, please? Give us a thumbs up down below that tells us that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, folks, all I can say is why haven't you? 
You can see all of the great world-class videos that we've uploaded for you. We cover all sorts of remodeling projects around your house. We cover kitchen remodeling, and as you saw here, the microwave install, kitchen cabinet installations. We cover all sorts of bathroom remodeling. We cover uh, tiling floors around your house. And we also cover you know, laminate flooring. And we also cover all sorts of engineering disasters. And, and you can see all of the tool review videos that we do for you. And we do drop testing as well on them. And then we're also very well known for our shop with me is in the big box hardware stores, finding you the best tool deals out there. So make sure you click on that subscribe button down below because after all, it's free folks. And when you do that, make sure you click that little gray bell icon next to it. That tells YouTube to alert you whenever we upload a video because you've seen our videos. You know you don't want to miss one of ours. They're very nice. So thank you so much for tuning in with us this week, folks. And we will see you on the next one.